Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, July 28th in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Executives at JetBlue have long been excited about the daily flights it planned between the United States and United Kingdom. But continued travel restrictions between the two countries have forced the carrier to reduce flights to London even before they debut, writes airlines reporter Edward Russell. The airline will reduce its London schedule to several days a week from daily in September. Company CEO Robin Hayes said the carrier would evaluate the situation on a monthly basis thereafter, but gave no indication whether New York to London Gatwick flights would commence as planned on September 29th. It's still uncertain when the U.S. and U.K. will remove travel restrictions. However, JetBlue has good news to report as Hayes said its figures showed that leisure travel exceeded the airline's expectations in the second quarter. We next look at a major development in the hotel industry. Hotel companies are turning to brand conversions as a source of growth, a development that's leaving smaller companies in difficult situations, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spirance. Publicly traded hotel companies resort to conversions when they need to show shareholders proof of growth during periods of limited hotel construction. While those deals have represented significant growth for several industry giants, other hotel companies have found themselves targeted by rivals seeking conversions. One hotel executive told Skiff this week at the major hospitality conference ALIS that his company is under assault from its competitors, as is everyone else. Finally, a prominent recreational vehicle rental company is looking to do more than use its vehicles as a camping option for travelers, writes contributor Angel Adegbesan. RVShare CEO John Gray told Skift in an exclusive interview that the company is considering adopting an Airbnb-like model in which it would use RVs to provide affordable accommodation to people traveling to events and destinations. While RVShare already allows vehicles to be delivered to any location a renter chooses, this new proposal differs in that the rented RV would not be driven at all. The renters have to come to its location. Gray mentioned that RV Share hopes to launch the program by the end of the year. He added that accommodation might not be the only new use for the company's rentals, as he envisions RVs serving as a possible option for remote work. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily newsletter at skiff.com slash daily. Spoken Layer. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.